Hello everyone, welcome back to the zoo. I'm Reckless and this is Planet Zoo. Today we are building our last rainforest animal habitat, which is our bonobo ape habitat. And we are all, I also have a special project that I worked on for the last few days here, which is our cliffside hotel. We'll get to the hotel after our habitat build here, so I wanted to kind of include both of these in one video for you guys to kind of uh, give you a little bit something extra to see today uh, as in comparison to the normal habitat build that we, nor we usually do. So the bonobos are the last animal in the rainforest section of our zoo, so I wanted to give them just a... Not the biggest habitat, but something that looked nice and was a, a cool addition to this section of the zoo. So we positioned them just up from the Nile monitors and above the uh, pygmy hippo habitat that you can see here. I have a little cut through area where you can, where the guests as they're walking along the uh, elevated path, they can view into the pygmy hippo habitat and see the waterfall down in the distance as well. So I thought that'd be kind of a, a cool function, cool feature. <clears throat> the bonobos themselves uh, live in Western Africa, I believe, and they are a, an animal that's in this rainforest section uh, according to the biomes in game. So. This is the last animal before we get to kind of the uh, savanna lowlands and I have a, an interesting idea for the savanna. Basically I wanted to have this rainforest elevated up above the rest of the African section so it took me absolutely ages but I've managed to lower all the terrain uh, for the rest of the Africa section. You won't be able to see it in this part of the video just yet, but once we begin on our hotel, you will, you'll see with the, a bit of the progress I've made as far as that goes, but lowering the terrain in this game takes absolute ages. Like, I, I, I push a bunch of it down and use the flatten to foundation, uh, I've, I've taken to actually using the terrain cutting tools uh, where like you can t uh, take the shape tool and actually cut out the uh, a section of the terrain and then I just go through and smooth that along uh, to speed up the process because it was taking me absolutely ages just to lower the terrain you know and uh, I didn't want to spend hours and hours and hours just not even building anything, just simply lowering terrain. <clears throat> but yeah, the I think the bonobo habitat turned out quite well. You know, it's a simple little habitat. It's not really a, a flagship animal for us, but all in all, I think it turned out well. Not sure why we're viewing the chimps here, but uh, the the bonobos are really active in climbing and stuff like that. They they climb the trees that I put in here, which I believe are the, uh, I want to say the marula trees, but I'm not, not don't quote me on that. But they, they're avid climbers. They're always up in the trees, which is really cool to watch and look at. So now we're moving on to the start of the hotel area. And this hotel is inspired by the Kruger National Park in Africa. Uh, I believe it's Kenya that the Kruger National Park is in. Let me just fact check that before I get carried away. Uh, Kruger National Park is in South Africa. Completely off target. <laughs> okay, good thing I looked that up. Uh, yeah, but in Kruger National Park, uh, they have these cliffside uh, resort villas, if you will, with like their own swimming pools and stuff like that. So th that was the inspiration for for this hotel that I wanted. I wanted, be uh, as I said, I, I planned to lower the rest of the African savanna section below this rainforest area. So I wanted this hotel to kind of overlook into the rest of the zoo. And I figured, you know, 
our zoo is a little bit more of like a, uh, a destination, like a, uh, a conservation zoo more than anything. So I figured a hotel would be fitting. You know, it's a place that will take you a few days to view all of it anyhow. So I could see it as being uh, a tourist attraction, some place that people would want to stay, right? So either way, I just wanted to do it because I thought it'd be a, a, a cool addition. The pathing for this is, is always my bane, you know, trying to get the paths to work the way you want them to when digging into terrain is never never fun, right? It never works the way you want it to. As you'll see here, I'm trying to make like a little pool for the guests and uh, the terrain is just being a, a pain. So I go through a couple different iterations of this, trying to figure out how to work it. That's one thing I really dislike is when you've placed a path and then you mess with the terrain and then you delete said terrain modifications sometimes it like creates like a weird lip by the path and stuff like that or it'll like glitch out the terrain a bit I'm not quite sure if that's a bug or, or what's causing that but it's definitely not the easiest to work around if you know what I'm doing wrong in that regard please let me know <clears throat> so for the hotel I wanted to have like I said a couple villas uh, for the guests to stay in I was gonna have like a a half dozen or something like that of these and it just it got to be too much work for me so there's three three uh what you might call it villas in total and i think they turned out really well you know uh this one that i'm building right here is like the luxury the luxury if you will i create like a little swimming pool kind of deal uh for it i think it turned out okay it's a, a bit of a pain to get it all working the way I wanted it to and it didn't quite work but I think it worked to the point of where I'm satisfied with it anyhow I'm definitely not going to spend any more time on it uh, so yeah just going through if you look on the Kruger National Park uh, like if you do a Google search for the images of their hotel Basically, each villa like overlooks into the jungle uh, o over this cliff face, and it's it's absolutely breathtaking. You know, it's somewhere that I'd love to visit at some point in the future. Uh, in in addition to just going on any African safari, it would just be absolutely incredible. But each of the villas have like these little uh, infinity pools in in front of them all over the cliff edge and I wanted to try and recreate that as best as I could and get kind of a water effect uh, if you guys are familiar with the building in this game they don't allow you to place water in like a built structure so you can't really create like a swimming pool necessarily but through using the jets and the, the the wave generators or whatever you want to call them I was able to create kind of like a, a moving water effect to, to, to some degree you know it's not perfect but it works for what I was trying to do yeah so if you guys are enjoying the content please remember to hit that like button and subscribe you guys have been super supportive uh, on all my videos so far and I appreciate all the love you guys have given me as a new youtuber I, I read every single comment, uh, I love to hear from you guys, and so far the response I've been getting from everyone is super positive, and I really do appreciate you guys' support. If there's anything you want to see in addition to our standard builds with this zoo, please do let me know. If you want to see a specific animal habitat build or something like that, I'm I'm more than open to suggestions for what people want to see. Basically, I have a plan for this zoo. I'm, I'm just moving by region by region and just taking it as I go. But again, if you guys want to see something different, uh, don't hesitate to let me know. So here I wanted to create uh, like an actual resort, right? So you, you're obviously going to have a bed. So I, I wanted to create like a bed and a hammock area, just like a, a tropical resort feel, right? So I messed around with 
the different materials to make my own bed and I've actually saved that now as a uh, blueprint so I can pull it up anytime I want and just uh, have this African style bed to place if I ever want to have a, even like a, a not a guard but like a keeper house or something like that that if I want to make it custom I have the option to do so again messing around with these paths was the biggest bane for this project I, I found but all in all I think it turned out okay yeah so if anyone doesn't know you can select any of your building items and uh, save it as a blueprint so I, I believe the limit is like I want to say 5,000 pieces I can't remember what the limit is somebody had said it in in the past and I, I just can't remember exactly what it is so don't quote me on that but you, you basically you copy you select all of the pieces that you want included and there's a button on the little window in the top right that says save as a blueprint and you choose what kind of blueprint it is being uh, staff or guest facilities or a prop or scenery stuff like that and you can uh, save it in your blueprint so when you want to just use it somewhere else it's it'll appear in your building items as you see right here and you can just plop it down and you don't have to mess around with uh, recreating something that might have taken a while there's another piece I make in a later portion of the video here and you'll see that in a few minutes still uh still a bit sick uh, this cold is hanging around for a lot longer than I would have liked it to so I wanted to add a couple food places in to this resort to create kind of a restaurant feel but also to get guests to come into this area right there the guests don't really have a reason to come in here otherwise right like there's no animal here there's no uh, guest facilities so they're not just gonna come into the hotel right they don't they don't register it as a hotel so I had to do something in order to create uh, guests coming in here my th my goal for this section was to have like a cable car that would carry the guests down into the savanna area but again i'm sure you've heard me gripe about this before all of the transport rides in this game are a, a closed loop so you have to loop the transport rides you can't just have like a point to point transport ride which I, I really hope they patch or give us something in the future because I would love to have just like a back and forth A to B uh, transport, right? Like uh, I'm thinking like a gondola style cable car kind of thing, right? I wanted it to carry the guests from the upper cliff down into the savanna area and then just return back up, right? So, so I'm going to have to mess around with that a little bit. I think I'm, I've landed on the monorail uh, in, in order to do it, but I'm going to have to stretch it around the whole uh, savanna area, and I just don't know how I'm going to do it yet. It was, it was frustrating the heck out of me trying to think of how I wanted to do it after it didn't work the way I wanted it to. But anyways, here, in the video here, we're just decorating the pool area the little guest area i know nobody's gonna use this right like i said before the guests aren't gonna come in and start splashing around in the pool right i get that but it, it's more for us you know it's it's for me and you it's not for the guests right it's it's for our eyes and our our knowing that it's here you know like we know that this hotel is here to heck with the guests if they use it or not right so this here is the admin building where guests would check into the hotel and also uh, where they board and deboard? Is that a word? <laughs> board and deboard the train? Uh, I'm not sure if that's actually a word or not. My brain's failing me right now. But yeah, this is the admin uh, staff building for the guests. 
Uh, I tried to make it as hotel-y as possible with within the limits of the game. Uh, again, I'm I'm trying to test my building ability, trying to improve on things. If you guys have ever used this clay stuff, I don't understand why it like clips into its own walls like that. You know, like I don't know. And like some of the corners join up, like you see here. I'm messing around with this. Some of the corners, like when you move them together, they like as you can see here create like a round flush corner and then sometimes they don't and i i don't know it just does my head in so i wanted to create like a little counter area like a check-in counter if you will for the hotel uh every hotel needs a check-in counter right so uh, i wanted to create something as best as i could with the materials i have i think it turned out all, all right in the end you'll see here in a minute but basically, I just beautifying the hotel, trying to make it look as uh, as realistic as possible. You know, put little uh, eye catchers around and uh, add some personality to it. You know. So overall, the feedback I've been getting from you guys is super positive, and you've been super supportive. But I, I just want to know, like. Do you like these style of builds that I've been doing where there's a mix of uh, like before we did the dome, then we had, you know, our just habitat builds. Are you looking to ha see me struggle with building more or are you, are you mainly liking just the habitat builds? I mean, let me know what you guys like to see and I'll be sure to crank out more of it for you guys. If you do want to see specific builds, like I said before, uh, make sure to let me know about that. But otherwise, I'm just going to keep trucking along uh, with the park or with the zoo section by section. And uh, we'll get to each animal as they come along. I did a couple tests, actually. And it appears that with the new sandbox changes, I can actually combine uh, predator and essentially prey in the same habitat. Uh, so in this safari type area, the savanna area, I plan to have like, li I believe lions and cheetahs in the same habitat with a, a couple of the gazelles, you know, just create like a predator prey type scenario. And with the sandbox settings that I've set up, they don't actually attack each other anymore right like there's no predation there's no fear uh, from the animals so they essentially just coexist with one another <clears throat> excuse me so I, i'm gonna do some a little more further testing to see that it they work in the way that i wanted to so that they're not like spazzing out and doing weird things or whatnot but uh that's the goal right is to have uh predator and prey in the same habitat as if you would on the actual savanna right i think that'd be really cool if we can make it work that way and yeah, so here we are just adding some greenery to the hotel i wanted to make it look as uh natural as possible you know detail make it look makes it look more realistic i think you know like if you went into an actual hotel there'd be things on the walls there'd be uh, cool little things in and er everywhere, you know? So I want to try and make it my buildings look as detailed as my nature habitats are as well. So here is something that I messed around with, and I'm trying to make a sofa, actually. So there's no sofa in-game. If you look like in the... Uh, in the staff buildings and stuff, they got really cool, like, sofas in there and stuff. But unfortunately, we don't have access to them in the game. So I wanted to try and create my own sofa to put in the hotel rooms and whatnot. And I think it turned out pretty decently, you know. I'm pretty happy with it, actually. Um, so this is just using an awning piece for the base. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw that, but it's like a, an awning for a building. And then using these colorable plaster squares to fill out the shape of the sofa. 
I think it turned out pretty decent, and I'm I'm pretty happy with it so far. It does everything I need it to do. So this is another one that I created a blueprint with, so I can have it for later use, but also just to uh, reproduce it for each room in the hotel. I thought it'd be easiest to save as a blueprint. So as you can see, I slap it in the hotel room, and I think it fits the decor pretty well. You know, it's the coloring's not perfect, but you know, it, as my first attempt at a, a build-your-own item piece, you know, I think it turned out pretty good. So we're nearing the end of the time lapse here. So again, I want to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button. Uh, to all the new people who have joined the family, I appreciate your support. Uh, you guys have been super, super helpful and super positive, and I love all to read all your guys' comments and everything. It really makes my day. So I want to say thank you to all the new people who have joined the channel, and please do stay tuned. I have tons more plans coming for the future. I hope you uh, enjoy. And with that, I'll say good night to you guys and leave you with some beautiful cinematic shots of the bonobos as well as the hotel i hope you like the build please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one i'm reckless have a nice day bye bye